Hi guys, join me today as we flip this piece of furniture. We're keeping it simple and beginner friendly. So you might pick up some tips along the way here and I might encourage you to go out there and flip a piece of furniture for yourself. Let's go. So to start, find yourself a piece of furniture that's either cheap or free. I'd kind of go with free. I got this one from somebody that was binning it, so it was perfect. So begin by removing any hardware that might be on it or anything that you don't really want to get paint on. And once you've got that done, then you want to start cleaning it. Give it a good cleaning with warm water and soap. And then follow that on by giving it a scuff sanding with 180 to 240 grit sandpaper. After sanding, clean away all of the dust and then you can move on to priming. After you prime it, leave it to set overnight. And then pick out a colour of your choice and we can get painting. Here I was using a paint gun, but actually most likely as a beginner you're using a brush or a roller. So I'm going to give you some tips for using brushes or rollers, things that I wish people had told me at the beginning. Tip 1. A good brush and good paint makes a big difference. Tip 2. Don't go over the paint while it's drying. Tip 3. When you paint on the paint with a brush, at the beginning you will see some brush marks, but they will flatten out as the paint begins to dry. This is given that you are using a decent brush and your paint isn't too thick. Tip 4. Things to do to avoid getting paint bubbles. When you're stirring your paint, don't stir it too quickly, you're going to bring air bubbles into the paint. So when you're rolling the paint on, don't do it too hard or too fast because this will also bring paint bubbles. After your first coat of paint has dried, you'll most likely have to give it a second coat and maybe a third or a fourth. This dresser has wood on wood slides, so I rubbed on some candle wax to help these glide back and forth a bit smoother. The inside of these drawers are pretty bad, so I've added some adhesive paper on the inside and I spray painted the outside to give them a much better look. However, as a beginner, I recommend that if the inside of your drawers look good, leave them alone. They're fine. And lastly, we're going to add a top coat. A top coat will help prevent any scratches or chips happening. I used a spray gun on this, and as you can see, I have some dripping, but I went over with a roller to help smooth it out. I have to admit, I hate using a top coat. I find it difficult to work with, and I know I'm not the only one out there. Most people recommend that if you're using either a paintbrush or a roller, that it's best to put a top coat on with a paintbrush. So again, just use the same technique of brushing from one side to the other. Don't make the coats too thick, and to add maybe two to three layers of this. For the handles, I cleaned them with hot water and soap, and I sprayed the button part gold, but I lost all the footage, so I can't show you it. <laughs> Sorry. And there you have it, you've created your very own piece of furniture. It wasn't that hard, was it? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.